Hello and welcome to study with Sudhir. My name is T.S. Sudhir and this is quiz time. The second of the quiz that I had promised here on study with Sudhir. Before I start, these are the different papers for ICSE class 10 for which test papers are available on the SWS app. So if you're looking for quality test papers, a lot of practice, revision and testing before your board exams start on the 25th of April, then this should be your destination. All these test papers have been rolled out on the SWS app. So please make use of the opportunity that you have in order to test ki kitne paani mein hai. Okay, so let's get started with quiz. Today's quiz is going to be on the four chapters, the two poems and the two stories of Treasure Trove. I hope you have been studying English literature. Okay, the first question goes, what is the message of the poem Nine Gold Medals, right? What are the options? The first option is to remain focused on your goal. What your banner says is very important. The banner said Special Olympics. Option C, world needs cooperation and collaboration. And option D, it's back to compete, right? The correct option is C. Which of these aspects do you not find in all summer in a day? Science fiction, futuristic, Bullying or is it a fairy tale? We do find the element of bullying out there, right? William and the other friends. It is a futuristic tale. We do not know. Maybe in some decades, centuries from now, you may actually find life on Venus, though it's quite difficult. And of course, it's a piece of science fiction. D, fairy tale is not part of the characteristics of all summer in a day. The motto of the Olympics, question number three, is participation is more important than winning. Aryan superiority, congratulate the winner and an angry athlete makes mistakes. Well, you need to congratulate the winner, definitely. Aryan superiority was something which Hitler believed in in 1936. But the motto of the Olympics is option A, participation is more important than winning. The poem about Ben Adam is rooted in a spiritual modern artistic or secular the correct answer is spiritual this is a line that is given in the box before the poem so make sure that all the four chapters you also read what is written in the box okay kitne mila abhi tak char mein se kitne theek hue hain ray bradbury's description of margaret as a very frail girl an old photograph dusted what does it indicate this particular line what does it indicate a margaret is arrogant she hates to take a shower. She lacks energy and vitality. Or is she poor? The correct option is option C. Margaret lacks energy and vitality. Les Long was an athlete. He also became a... Now, this is something which you need to know. Now, this is not strictly as part of the chapter, right? The possibility that it may not come is also there. But I at SWS, we believe in preparing students for any kind of contingency. So you should know, you know, you, in any case, you should be curious. What happened to Lus Long after the Berlin Olympics? Did he become a sports journalist? Did he become a Nazi politician given the fact that, you know, Hitler thought he was one of them? Did he become an athletics coach or did he become a soldier who fought in the Second World War? Option D is correct and in fact he was killed in the Second World War. Okay. About Ben Adam, the poem is set in a Middle Eastern country, cold country, fantasy land and dream. This again is mentioned in that box. Middle Eastern country is the correct answer. In the midst of their running, one of the girls wailed. This is from All Summer in a Day. Because the rain returned, because she did not like the sunshine, because the teacher called her back. Because she remembered Margaret that they had closed her, they had shut her, locked her inside the closet. But the correct option is option A because the rain returned. She felt the rain drop on her palm. The sun in the story is not compared to a lemon, a coin, a flower or a blue crayon. Now it is compared to a yellow or a golden crayon but not a blue crayon. So don't be misled by the word crayon. The correct answer is D, blue crayon. In the poem and in the other description, the different words that are used are lemon, coin and flower. The last question, the children on Venus were children of rocket men and women, aliens, citizens of Ohio or robos. The correct answer is, and this is in the first page of the chapter, rocket men 
and women. Okay, so I hope you got most of these right. Uh, and I do hope that you're finding these quiz on study with Sudhir useful. If you do, please write in the comment section. Please share this video and something which I normally don't say. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.